Hey guys, so today we're going to go ahead and do a walkthrough for our download for processing. And we're going to start by going ahead and opening up our browser. All right, in the case here, I'm using Google Chrome. You can use any browser you want, whether that's Internet Explorer, Safari on a Mac, etc. But today I'm just going to use Google Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead up to the search bar at the very top here, and I'm going to type in processing.org. And that's going to take me to this website right here. And this is where we want to go. Now, when you get to the first page here, there's a whole bunch of stuff. You can see download button right here, and we can also see download up here. Uh, we're going to select the one at the very top here, right next to this processing logo. We're going to select download. Now, that's going to bring us to this page here, and we're going to see a couple of different options. And we're going to make sure we select the right one. So even though 4.0 is the newest version, it's still in beta testing. So we're going to actually go for the 3.5.4 version, as it's a little bit more stable. And yeah, so there we go. So we're going to pick one from this row right here. Now, based on what system you're going to use, depends on which one you're going to select. If you're on a Mac, you're going to obviously use the Mac one. If you're on a Linux, lose Linux. And if you're on a Windows, you're going to select the Windows 64 bit. Um, I don't think anybody here is going to have a Windows 32 bit system. So we're going to select one of these. Now, I'm on a Windows, so I'm going to select the Windows 64 bit option here. Now, once I've clicked that, you can kind of see down in the bottom corner of my screen, this wonderful little download starts happening right there. It's downloading a zip file. Uh, we wanna make sure that when we finish downloading the zip file, we wanna open it properly. So we don't wanna just click it right away. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we right click it instead. And we're gonna select the show in folder option. Ah, also, it might update to the donate page right after. Don't worry about that. You can just close it when you're done. But first, let's go ahead and right click the little download here and hit show in folder. If we do that, it'll take us to our downloads. Now, um, I'm going to have to move that over just so you can see it. Give me one sec. All right, so this window should pop up here when you select the show in folder. Now, if you can't get it to do that, that's OK not to worry. We can go ahead and open it manually, and I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to close it here for just a moment. Um, and we're going to go ahead to the bottom left corner of our screen. And we can kind of see this little folder here. This is our Windows File Explorer. If you're on a Mac, you're going to go to your Finder instead. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to open up my Downloads window. Just give me a second. I need to open up a new one. There we go. All right. And it's going to take me. I'm going to have a whole bunch of things. And I'm going to go ahead and select my Downloads folder. And there we go. I can select it from the side here, or I can select it from the main window. Now. As I've got my downloads folder open, I can see this PC downloads. And there's the download we selected. This is processing 3.5.4 Windows 64 zip. Now, before I do anything, I want to make sure I single select it so it's highlighted like that. And then I'm going to right click it. And you're going to go a whole bunch of options. Before we extract it, we're going to go to properties. And we're going to get a nice little window like this. And we're going to select the unblock option down here in the bottom left corner. We want to make sure we select that first. Then we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And then you can hit OK after. Uh, it's important to make sure you unblock it. Otherwise, in some cases, your system won't actually let it run properly. It might run the first time or the second time. And then for some reason, it won't anymore. So we're going to make sure we unblock it, hit apply, and OK. And there we go. Now we can right click it again and select the extract files option. That's going to open up this little window here. And it's going to ask us where we want to extract it to. Now, right now, it defaults to downloads. You don't want it to be on your downloads. If it's in your downloads, it's not going to work properly later. If you have a OneDrive setup, or if you're on a Mac and you're using cloud services, you also want to make sure you do not save it there as well. It needs to be on the system itself. So what I like to do, there's two options here. If you're not using cloud services, so you're not using a OneDrive, you can use your desktop, and that'll be fine. Otherwise, you can select your C drive or your, uh, in most cases, you'll have a D drive or an E drive. In my case, it's an N drive. But I'm going to go ahead and save it to my local disk C. So it's nice and simple. Most people have a C drive. That's where your boot up is. And on my C drive, I'm going to go to my users. And I'm going to look for myself. And for now, I'm just going to keep it right here inside of users and then me. And I'm going to hit OK. I can see that right there at the top. I can double check it. See users and then my name. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. 
and it'll begin the extraction process. Once that's done, then we'll be able to actually test to make sure it is in fact working properly. All right, so once it's done doing that, it'll vanish and I'm gonna have to go ahead and navigate to where it saved it. It will also automatically save in your documents an additional set of folders where we'll talk about that later, but I'm gonna go to my C drive and I'm gonna go look for my users and right there. And I can see myself and then I gotta look for processing. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and there it is, perfect. Now, this is what the project files should look like. I can go ahead and double click the processing.exe and it will begin to open. And once it's done opening, it should look kind of like this. You might get a little window that says, hey, get started. It'll pop up in front of this. You can just hit, uh, sure, you can close it. It doesn't really matter too much. And this is how you know you are ready for class or your free trial. That's everything you need to know. Um, once you get to this point, you can go ahead and close it for now, and then we will get to the rest of it once you get into class. All right, that's all for today.